Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks Part 2. This is so easy, this part, that I really should have included it in the uh, graphic. And if you remember from Part 1, we had a 1 inch by, well, just make it 0.125. Well, I need to unlock my ratio and put this back to 1 inch. So that is our tab and of course it's going to be a little off because well we're going to do it right um how are we going to you know what tell you what i'm going to have to do move that out of the way make sure this is still grouped and hit hit p put it in the center of the page put this one in the center of the page and then that way we can rotate it so what we're going to do, we're going to start moving this and then hold down the control button and try to get right to the, about the midpoint of that. We're just doing this for verification. And then we're going to double click on it and change our rotation. And if you didn't watch the first video, I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit. As long as you can see both items, your crosshairs and your item, this should work. Okay, and then we're going to rotate this guy 7.2 degrees. Okay, and then we're going to control D and rotate it 14.4. I don't know why that's happening. I guess I needed an additional. So go plus 14.4. There you go. And see, here's what I'm talking about in the first video. These are actually touching, but I'm a little low. So if we put this up a little bit, so you might have to adjust. I would test this uh, with one strip, and and really the kerf of the laser is going to probably take up that amount. So now we have a. Let me just get rid of these. Whoop. We have a, so we're going to draw our piece of wood and we're going to make it um, one inch wide. And then this is where you figure out how big, how tall you want your box to be. Let's make it two inches. So there's our tab or there's our side panel. We're going to go ahead and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Okay, we're working with, uh, I guess, uh, eighth inch plywood. The the length, the top part movement doesn't matter. It's the other length. But we're going to make it, wow, look how close I got. To, I'm going to make it 1.3. And then I'm going to make it a half. Oh, I did the opposite. 0.5 by, no, that's right. 0.5 by 0.13. There you go. I put 1.3. Now what I would do is hit P, put it in the center. While moving it, hold down the control button. And then I, I would actually set my nudge factor with nothing selected. You see, I'm select, I'm in the middle, so I'm selecting something. I'm gonna set my nudge factor on 0.0. I'm gonna actually go point, point zero 0.01, make it really minute. And then nudge this guy up to those lines beat. And that's why I kind of made it 1.3, because one, you could always sand it off. So I'm not quite there yet. I need to go back. That's good. And to make it easy, what I would do is just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in and that'll close up all the nodes up there. I'm gonna left click, right click, and I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and I'm gonna mirror it the other way. Now all I have to do is just take 
it would have been a lot easier if I would have moved. If I move this out of the way, because then I won't be grabbing it. And then just have this go to here and have it snap to. Now take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. There is your side panel. But I would strongly suggest that you uh, test your joints. Uh, you can go down and cut out your rings. Let's just measure and make sure everything we did right. From there to there is two inches. From there to there is one inch. From there to there, half inch. And let's do the bottom. Whoop. From there to there is 0 0.13, which you always want a little bit length. Uh, the, the thickness of the wood, you'll measure them with a caliper or get them really close because all eighth inch woods aren't uh, equal. Uh, and then that's where I would do some tests. I would take two of these and cut them out and then put them together and see if they fit in that joint. If they don't, just make it a little bit thinner. Now, you need, I'm gonna delete that one. You need, a, I think it was 30. Let's take away that, don't it, you know, that's a bad habit. Let's set our nudge factor back on 10. And let's move this out of the way. A quick way to count is just grab all these and you got, oh, 25 objects. So it was 25, that, yeah. So you just need 25 of these. So let's nudge that back and always think about, this is your bottom. So this is gonna be solid wood, but this is your top. So to save a little wood, you could actually cut them out partially inside here. Not that many of them, but you could do it. Um, you know, put one there. I'm hitting the plus key instead of control D. Control D might have worked in this case. See, then this is all grouped together, so you could grab all these and then control D or hit the plus key. So you could get quite a few. And also another way to do this, you got one inch, make your nudge factor on like 1.1. And plus key, plus key. And then you could probably put, well, you could maybe put two more, you know. Uh, it's not gonna save any time, but it is gonna save some uh, wood. So inside this box, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We, we got almost half of them in, in the wood. And then, you know, you could save wood by cutting it here. Um, I'm using the plus key right now, so it won't just keep um, moving them around. So just put them you know, the rest of them, wherever you want them to be. Um, you know, I'm gonna hit the plus key and move it twice, plus key and move it twice. Whoa, I grabbed some of the wrong, some of the tabs. Don't do that. I guess I had that not grouped together. And, whoop. group that together. And I didn't change my nudge distance, I'm just clicking it twice. So in that piece of wood, you could probably get all of them out of there. You know, a piece of wood that's not that big. Now, other shapes are gonna be harder, and maybe this gentleman actually from South Africa will, and see what they did on the lid, They uh, made it where it would slip in there and that's really easy. You know, if this is your 
your lid, uh, just make another ring that'll fit inside here. And that would actually be cool if you had a, let's just do it real quick. Let's take our ring and let's move it over. So if you remember, it's 8.4. Just take a ring that's 8.4. And that's, I unlock my ratio. So that's going to fit on top. And then that way it'd all be one solid piece of wood. And the other part is, I think it's 7.6, 7.6, make it control D and make another duplicate and make it, I'd make it 7.55 because you want it to, so to make it maybe a little bit more understanding, let's nudge this out of the way. So this is going to be your plywood top. This is going to be your plywood bottom of the top of the lid. So when you put the lid on, it won't slide around. Hope that made sense. Whoop. Hope that made sense. I was trying to take away the outline. So if you flip this over, it's going to look like that, but not with the brown on top. And I just use brown to make a difference. So if you completely flip this guy over, which you really can in Corel, we could, you know, make a, well, I guess it's not even grouped together. So I made a duplicate of it. So your top's going to be right on top that it's going to look like that. But the brown is going to be inside. Anyway, I hope that gave him some ideas and thank you for watching.